Sarah Stamping Retreat. Today I thought we'd make an explosion box um, using the Brilliant Wings dies. So with these dies you get these few dies here but the main dies are these butterflies which all cut out as one and they make butterflies like this. So you could stamp on those or just cut them out like this and then we've got these detailed ones that come out like this as well. So they layer really nicely together. So you can stamp and use this one, or you can just use the detail, or you can use them together like this, and we'll be using them together today. And you can see you've got six different butterflies. And then we'll also be using the gorgeous hand-penned design series paper. So to start with, I have got a piece of cardstock, and it measures six and a half inches by nine inches. And I am going to put it in at six inches, and then I'm going to cut that till I get to three inches and then I'm going to lift it up go to six inches and just cut the end piece and then I'm going to score it across as well so that will score that middle bit then I'm going to go to three inches and I'm going to do the exact same thing so I'm going to cut to three inches then I'm going to skip to six inches and then I'm just going to cut from six inches to the end and then I'm going to score across. So as you can see then I've got scoring on this middle piece that's still attached. So then I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to go in at three and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut to three inches. And then I'm going to go in at six inches. And then I'm going to cut to the end. So that'll cut those two pieces off. And then I'm going to score and then I'm going to do the same the other side so I'm going to put this in at half an inch and then I'm going to cut across to three inches then I'm going to lift it until six inches and I'm going to cut across to the end and then I'm going to score across and that will take these two pieces off as well and if you've got 12 by 12 cardstock then you can cut it nine by nine and you can just create this all in one piece. An A4 piece of cardstock isn't big enough to do this all in one piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of these pieces that we cut off. We're going to fold these corners, the sides in. Then I'm going to cut up here. And cut up here. Then I'm going to pop some tape across. And then I'm just going to put that carefully on so that it lines up with the score line. So then I've got the base of my box. So that will go like that. So I have a paper trimmer and a scoreboard and I find the paper trimmer better for doing things like this where I'm scoring and cutting at the same time but I find my scoreboard is easier for when I'm just scoring. So I'm going to use the scoreboard for the rest but if you've just got a paper trimmer then you can do exactly the same with that. So I've got a 6 inch by 6 inch square of cardstock and this I'm going to use for the lid. So I'm going to move it a little bit away from the side here. And then I'm going to score at three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches. And I'm going to do that on all the sides. So a little bit away from the side, then I'm going to do three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches. And I'm going to carry on round. That's just a six inch square of Mr. Moonlight cardstock. Then I'm going to fold all the score lines. And then I'm going to chop this. So can you see there's a big square in the corner made up of four little squares. I'm going to cut up the corner of that square. Then I'm going to take off these two bottom squares. And then I'm going to take off this square here as well. So I'm left with a step and a flap. I'm going to do that in all the corners. So up here to the second score line, I'm going to take this piece off the bottom 
And then I'm going to take this square off here. And I'm left with a step and a flap. So I'm going to do that on all the corners. Right, so then I'm going to just take a little triangle off each of these end flaps and then also off each of these small flaps. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So each of these long flaps at the side, I'm just going up to the first score line and each of these small flaps too. And this just helps the box to fold together nicely. So then I'm going to take my tape, I'm going to put a bit of tape just by the score line on each of the small flaps. This is my tear and tape. And I really like this, um, that you get a lot on the roll and it tears nicely but sticks really well as well. And if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll see that I use this for pretty much all my box making because it's nice and strong. So then we're just going to fold up each of the corners so that the score line just lines up with this edge here. And then I'm just going to fold those out a second. I'm going to put a bit of tape on each of the flaps. So then this will go on like this. So that fits really nicely there. So then I want to make a small box to go inside here so that when this flaps down there'll be a small box inside and you can put a little gift in the small box. So if you've got a bigger gift you could put the big gift just straight in there. But I thought it's quite cute to have like a double layer thing. For the small box, I've got a six inch square piece of cardstock. And this box is going to be a two inch square box, whereas this one, whereas this one is a three inch square. So I'm going to score it at two inches and at four inches on that side. And then at two inches and at four inches on that side. And then for the lid, I've got a four inch square. So I'm going to pop that a little bit away from the side and I'm going to score it at half an inch and at an inch. And I'm going to keep doing that on each side. So I'm going to put it a bit away from the side and I'm going to do it at half an inch and an inch. And the same on each of the other sides. And you'll see I made a little bit of a mistake there and put an extra score line in, but that's fine. I'm just going to ignore that score line. Right, so then on this one, we're just going to score all of the score lines. And we're going to make it the exact same way we just made the other lid. So it's just like a small version of that. So do you remember we just went up the side of the square, so we went to the second score line, then we cut off this bit at the bottom, and then we went to take off this little flap here, so it's just a mini version of what we've just done. And so we've got a step and a flap, and we're going to do that on all the sides. Then I'm just going to cut the little pieces off these small flaps and the large end flaps, just like we did on the other one. 
So all the small flaps, and all of these large end flaps. And each time we're just going up to this first score line. Right, so we're going to put it together in the same way as well. So I'm just going to have a little piece of um, tape in each of these small flaps. We just want it right next to the score line again. And then I'm just going to pop those so that the score line meets the edge. And then I'm just going to pop this across here. And then we're just going to fold this down, just like we did in the big one. So then on our base, I'm just going to fold all the score lines and then in each corner we're going to cut about a centimetre away from one of the score lines and we're going to cut all the way up the other score line until we meet the, until we meet the first score line up. So we're going to do that in each corner. So we're going to cut about a centimetre away from the score line and then up the score line on the other side of the corner. And we're going to do that again here, so about a centimetre away. And then up the score line. And about a centimetre away. And up the score line. Now I'm going to go through all these flaps and I'm just going to take a little bit off the edge, so just a little triangle. And then I'm going to pop some tape just onto each of these flaps. And then I'm going to line up the score line with the edge next to it. And there's my little lid to go on top. So let's start off by decorating this small one. So I have got five of these little squares. These are one and three quarter inch squares of our lovely hand pen DSP. And I'm going to grab my Tombow glue and I'm just going to glue these onto the sides of my box. And then I'm going to put the other one on the lid. So then I've got one of these very small butterflies and that is cut out in pale papaya cardstock. And then I'm just going to glue it, I'm only gluing the body onto this, um, the other butterfly that I've cut out of the Misty Moonlight cardstock with the Brilliant Wings dies that I showed you at the start. I'm just going to glue that onto our lid. And then how cute is that? So that's our little box for in the centre finished. So then let's go ahead and decorate this big box. So I'm going to turn it over. So this is essentially the outside. And I've got five larger pieces of this DSP. So these are two and three quarter inches square. And I'm going to put them around the outside. So you've got to remember that this piece here is the base. So all of the um, all of the pieces of DSP 
want to kind of go out from the base so I'm going to turn it round as I go so that I remember which way up it needs to go I mean this paper wouldn't look terrible if it was upside down anyway but I do want to keep it the right way up if possible so I'm just going to keep on turning this so I know that it's the right way up I'm going to glue this one onto the lid. And then I've got a larger version of these butterflies. So again, the bottom one is in Misty Moonlight and the um, and this one is in Pale Papaya. So those are the um, colours that go with the DSP that we've got. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue along here along the body now I'm actually going to get my gilded gems I'm going to pop one of the gilded gems on the butterfly's head I'm going to do the same for this little one as well just to add a nice little bit of bling so then when I fold this up can go on the top. That's really pretty look. So let's decorate the inside now. So then I've got four two and three quarter inch square pieces of a different piece of this DSP and I'm just going to pop those around the outside. So I'm going to put it so that essentially that is the top when you open it. So you can see as well that by putting this piece on here it means that you can barely see this join that we did earlier. And like I said before, if you've got a piece of 12 by 12 inch cardstock that's even better. You can just cut a 9, nine inch square piece and score and fold at 3 inches on each side and cut out the corners and then you won't have that bend but I wanted to show you because most people just have A4 cardstock I just wanted to show you that that is how you make it with the A4 cardstock I'm getting to the end of this um, glue now so you probably see me squeezing it quite a bit and that will go in the middle like that I'm not going to stick that down just yet so I'm going to take my gorgeous Biggest Wish stamp set and I'm going to take the Blocky Happy and the Scripty Birthday and then I'm going to use this piece that I cut off one of the corners here and then I'm just going to heat emboss these words in gold so I'm just going to pop them on here I'm going to cut them out so they don't need to be particularly central or anything I'm just going to turn my tool to two and I'm just going to heat this up. So then I can just go and cut that down. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut this down as well. And then I've got three more butterflies as well. Put those two on there, and that one can go on there, and that will go in the middle. So let's glue those butterflies together first. Right, so let's just pop some dimensionals on the back of the happy. Now I'm glue, going to glue the birthday. I'm just going to glue on all our um, butterflies. I'm 
And I'm going to add some gems onto those as well. And then I'm going to pop that in the middle. And then you could use a couple of glue dots or some tape or some dimensionals or something to keep that in place. I'm going to leave it like that until I decide what I want to put in to it. But before I, um, before I give it as a gift, I will stick this... Um, smaller box down in the middle so that it doesn't just shake around in the box. So let's see it in work. So look how pretty that is and then we've got our little box in the middle. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our project. If you did, I'd appreciate you clicking like below and you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and then select all, then you will also receive notifications from YouTube when there's a new video available. All of the products that we've used for today's project are listed in the description below. And there's also a host code there, so if you pop the host code into your box before you check out, then I'll see you, send you a free gift after the end of the month. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.